Good afternoon, Twitch TV, and welcome to our Thursday Developer Playtest. Uh, today joining us is going to be Alex uh, Gasti Hetu, uh, and back. he is back uh, for a third time in a week, actually. We just can't get enough of Gasty. That's right. <laughs> My name is Andy Belford. I'm the community manager for uh, Waystone Games. Uh, we are the creators of Dawngate, uh, the new MOBA that you're about to watch be played. And today we actually have something very special. We're going to be debuting a brand new Shaper. Yay! If I could do that like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> I'm Kermit the Frog. Yay! Anyways, uh, we're going to be debuting a brand new Shaper today. It's super exciting. Uh, we're very, very, uh, very happy about this because uh, this is actually our first assassin character. Uh, and her name is Kendra of the Vesper. What's a Vesper, you may ask? Well, I would ask that to Hunter. That's true. Something to do with an evening star, I believe. It, it, it an fits, evening with her, fits with her story. An evening star, it does definitely fit with her lore. So hopefully you guys have been reading the lore about her. We'll be putting up part four today, if we haven't already. Um, so this should be really fun. Hi, chat. Wow. They're, they're, they're very active today. I think they want beta keys. <laughs> that's true that's true that's something true. we can provide all right guys so uh without much further ado we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn this over to gasty he's going to be playing kendra and uh after we go through like uh, shaper select and stuff like that i'm sure you'll be talking about uh abilities and all that fun stuff as well yep all right cool beans so i'm gonna go ahead and press that button i think that popped it over there let me just double check loading video uh, i can skip to video uh let's just do this <laughs> Yes, it did switch. Okay, cool. So there you go, sir. And away you go. All right. I'm going to be over here. Let's so according it. to uh, David Winter, um, our local literary genius, uh, Vesper is the Latinization of... I, I think he might be trolling me, actually. Her, her, oh, no. Hesperus, excuse me. The Evening Star. Nice try. I almost read the first thing you sent through, David. That would have been inappropriate. <laughs> so anyways. Um, tools, tools, yes. Check Minus is on our uh, development team. He's a QA analyst. Did you just hear Microsoft Communicator? Yes, you did. I have Communicator on this machine. We use Communicator. Um, let's see here. Uh, so... We're gonna go ahead. Uh, do you want to go over? Can you go over Kendra's? No, you can't. You should. We should have done that in Shaver's Select, actually. That's all right. We'll do it in uh, in game. Huh? Um, I can do either. It depends on whatever. I was just gonna wait to fill. So. Um. All right. I guess we'll see what goes on here. So uh, our first assassin. Uh, so what is the what what roles do you uh, do you generally like to play? Um, generally, I either take her as a tactician or hunter or predator, depending on what my team kind of setup is. Yep. Um, looks like we need me to be in jungle today. Okay. She's a totally viable jungler, so that's fine. Right on. And what loadout do you use when you have her in jungle, then? Um, resonance is one of the best jungling perks, just because it really helps your clear speed. Um, mm -hmm. But it doesn't do much for me to actually kill people, so it's kind of a trade-off between jungling efficiency and murder potential. Um... So, let's see. Okay. I'll probably take it just to be safe, since I don't want to derp it up on stream, but I often like taking defense penetration instead, if I can get away with it. Okay. Uh, is there any word of a Linux port of this in the future? No, no, we haven't even gotten to that point yet, guys. Way down the road. Um, let's see here. Oh, the folks are asking, who needs to win for us to get beta keys? Well, we will see. Uh, let me see how... how uh, I think Gasty needs to needs to get kills for us to get beta keys. He's got to show off that snowball. That's right. She can do it for an assassin because it's an assassin, and you actually legitimately want them to snowball. She so is. there she is. Just the best joke will happen. You know what was nice about? Oh, that's not it. Happen? That's not the best joke. Nothing. She has three of them. She has three jokes. Let's wait for it. Where's okay. the other one? I love cats. Are either of our players in? I wish there were a way to watch cats be silly all day. <sighs> so good. I love it. Maybe What'd you say? What'd she say? She says, I love cats. I wish there was a way to watch cats be silly all day. Oh my, how meta. Um, so, uh, are either of us uh, environment artists? No, we are not environment artists. So, uh, Burak is asking if you can go over her kit while we're waiting for the minions um, to spawn. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably just go over her kit as I rank up her abilities since I can show what they do. So, her, oh, that's cool. her Q um, shoots out five blades in kind of this uh, kind of 
pseudo fan. Uh, you can see if these people get off of me here. Um, looks kind of like that. They quickly go out, uh, deal damage. If any one of those blades hits a shaper, it'll return a heal. So I can get 5x the heal if I hit with all five blades on a target. Now. Um, and when I make up for W and E, I will show you who are those. Somebody noticed that your ward and your perk both have an icon now. That is true. Although the uh, the perk Minions icon is spawned. still totally placeholder, it looks like. Mm. That's an icon I made 100 million years ago. Well, according to the chat, the ward icon looks much better than a blank spot, so good job. Maybe there. The ward icon was not made by me. That's an actual real art piece. So it, lo it looks good. The perk icon down here, this like MLG flavored... Uh, Plant. Plant. <laughs> Alrighty. So, with her Q, does that mean Kendra is a, a pretty strong AoE clear? Uh, yeah. Uh, her Q and her W are both AoE, so her AoE clear is, is, is really strong. The damage on them is a little bit weak for normal AoEs, but mm -hmm. um, once she gets a sufficient number of power, it's, it's fine. Oh, most people wanted to steal my experience, so I didn't level up. Oh, no. Um, I was going to say, so uh, since she does have a pretty strong AoE clear, then starting middle is completely viable on her. Um, as opposed to where the single, uh, the single, single target uh, shaped uh, hunters uh, more want to focus on the top and the bottom start. Right, so her W is pretty standard um, AoE, but if it hits a shaper, it'll actually uh, shield her. So in that scenario, it didn't hit shapers, so you don't see it, but the more shapers I hit with that, um, the, st the stronger, stronger shield I receive. So her Q has the self heal and her uh, W has a self shield, so it allows her to be relatively sustainy, and each one kind of scales her defense with the more shapers she hits. So she goes right into the middle of the team fight, which is kind of what she's designed to do. Mm -hmm. um, she can kind of it kind of helps her survive in that scenario because she hits five people with both the Q and the W, then it gives her a pretty sizable amount of defensive utility. Okay. So it looks like the stream numbers are crawling up. So let's say, guys, if we get above, I don't know, 400 viewers, uh, and uh, that's just 100 more, so I think that's completely possible. Let's say we get above 400 viewers, and you, uh, let's say you win the game. We'll do win the game. We'll do a 200 use multi-use key, guys. 200 use key. Do we have a use service? Not yet, guys. Not yet. So primarily, like, as far as recommended items go for... Uh, for Kendra, um, what, what, what is the, the focus for items? I mean, obviously damage is going to be one of those. Yeah, her base damage sucks, uh, but she has really strong scaling, so really, you pretty much have to go fully offensive. Um. Oh, nice. Should be able to get this as well. Dale is... Oh, kind of, whoa, nice. And uh, are you going to clean up? Nope. No. I need, to, I need to retreat. Is that Ow. a little... Caleb should be attacking attacker while you're running away. Or blink. Or blink. Um, so my E is standard, just single target um, teleport. Allows me to gap close and use my, uh, my Q and W effectively. My Q, uh, each blade returns the heal, so if a... Um, so they only do damage to one target, but each blade has one individual heal will carry, so if I hit a single target with all five blades, like if I blink and, and hit all five at point blank, then they'll still do five times the heal, even if I uh, hit a single target with all five blades, right? Although it still does the same amount of damage, does not do 5x damage. Okay. Uh, somebody's noticing, uh, is making the statement, you know, pretty basic jumpy assassin type champ. That is uh, something to notice. We did not go with a stealth-based assassin for our first assassin. Right. She is not. She's not stealth. Um, she survives from her like point blank utility on her Q and her E, as well as her R, which gives her a great amount of survivability as well, mm -hmm. which you'll see once I get it. Uh, people are already kind of speculating about the uh, about the ult. Somebody was like, "Looks like it's a Kali's ult," but uh, I think it's pretty different. Uh, we so we shall see, guys. Yeah, but it's not like a Kali's ult. Has been slain. What is her passive ability? Uh, she's pure shaper, so she does not have a. Um, a benefit for, for that. Oh, check! Minus! Just Try putting it. himself out there. I, I, I figured he was looking to dive there, so... Big feeder, check minus. Getting too greedy early on. Should free me up maybe do some counter-jungling. Alrighty. Maybe there. 
What's going on down here? Madness. Will you be giving out keys tonight? We will. Uh, so if Gasty wins, we'll give a uh, 200 juice beta key, guys. Uh, uh, of course, uh, if Gasty wins, then we get above 400 viewers, which we're at 300 and climbing, so I think it's possible. Alrighty. There he's bro up there. An ally has been slain. It's like he is... She's got, she's got two bros there. Uh, although... We get out of there. Weren't, fe weren't feeling that dive on him? Nah, no way I would've been able to kill him. Oh, this resulted in maximum sadness. So, obviously since you're playing Hunter right now, you took uh, Vanquish first. Uh, generally speaking, what's your approach to spells on, on uh, Kendra? Exceed is super strong on her because she does all of her bursts pretty much immediately, so you can really take advantage of that small two-second window Exceed gives you for a large amount of damage output, um, which is uh, super, super strong on her. So normally I like to take Exceed. Like, if I play her in lane, I'll take Exceed level one usually. Okay. Vordreller, I like big jungles and MOBAs. Well, then you should love Dawngate. It's true. We have a large, expansive jungle mm -hmm. suitable for multiple junglers. Jungle as far as the eye can see. Yeah, well, our team is using one right now, but we can, uh, in more kind of coordinated teams, um, you can run multiple junglers very successfully. So this should get me six when I get this, and then I'll be looking to gank a lot more. I'll be able to be way more effective when I have my ultimate. Outstanding. Somebody was asking in the chat, is there uh, information about Kendra in the forums? And why yes, yes there is. In fact, I will go ahead and I'm going to link that in the chat for you right now. Did we update that with the her abilities? We did. I put those in just a few minutes ago. Alrighty. My pleasure. I'll go by and then... So I really like, like stacking mastery on her as well. Her base damages are pretty weak, so um, the, the mastery helps basically make up for her weak base damages by increasing them by a bit. So I'm guessing that for her, because she's kind of a is she a combination of physical and magical damage? Nope, she's 100% magical. Although, 100% magical. Um, I mean, her her basics are, are physical, and she actually ends up doing a decent amount of basics because I stack so much mastery on her. My basics have a surprisingly high crit rate in the end game, okay. so I usually end up actually trying to orb walk and make sure I get as many autos in as possible. Right, I should be able to help clean this up. Okay. Um, somebody is asking, uh, which loadout did you take? Uh, and after you, oh, there's the ult. Nice. Wow. Um, so her ultimate is extremely short range. Um, you can see that's the range on it. Uh, it locks onto a single target and does uh, heavy damage to that target and any targets nearby, and she's untargetable for the duration. Wow. Very nice. Uh, yeah, for the key, guys, uh, I will actually put it up on the video screen. We don't put it in chat, so nobody has like an advantage over copy-pasting on it. So. Alrighty. Uh... Captain Roadcal is asking, is Kendra best as tanky or a damage dealer? I mean, could you play Kendra tanky? You can play her tanky. In fact, uh, Moxie plays her, her tanky quite a bit um, and does very well with her, so it's certainly possible. I prefer the way more glass cannon style, um, personally. Oh, we got that magic shred. Uh, let's give it... Oh, not quite in range. Yeah, and he used his blink to get away. Looks like he burned his W and his blink in that trend. He saw you coming. He was yeah. like, I gotta get away from that gas. Can I hit a heal on this? A little bit. One. One nice. blade. There you go. I uh, healed from like 40 because I only hit one of the five blades. And still, I mean, that's cons that, that was a pretty good chunk of health there. Pretty good amount. So it does look like it's time to go in. Now, say, let's say you hit all of your blades on these guys. Would they heal you? Um, no, it's shaper only. Shaper only. Okay, interesting. Uh, somebody asked, can, uh, does her blink work on uh, wards? Um, it does not right now. Okay. Wow. Alright, I can probably clean this up as well. Get my ult's up. It was a great clutch, uh, clutch ult on you from, uh, from Caleb playing Zeri there. It looks like you guys are going to lock down this spirit well quite handily. Yep, no problem. That was good. I was trying to. I knew I had my alt, so if I, I could hit it if I really needed to have, have like kind of an oh shit uh, defensive capability there. So right. I was just kind of trying to stall out until my team, uh, team to back me up. Right on. Board now. A lot of folks uh, making kind of an, uh, uh, a uh, 
comparison between her her ult and a Fiora ult kind of. Um, yeah, I could see where that would come from. Uh, but actually, people will say, you know, I, I like this better because you actually have an escape on her. So. It's, it's similar. It, I mean, that, that type of gameplay, I think, is much more fitting on an assassin. Um, mm -hmm. So it, it combos very, very nicely on her kit. Um, Especially considering, like, she just exists to do damage. Like, she just... She, does she have CC at all? She has a slow, right? Nope, no slow, no, no CC slow? whatsoever. Nothing. She has zero, completely zero CC. She's entirely damage oriented. Basically, her her entire kit is about um, damage and trying to keep herself alive to be able to do that damage. So she has really good defensive capabilities with her, her heal, her shield, and her ultimate making her untargetable. Right. Um, and pretty strong mobility as well, but zero CC to make up for that. Okay. So you see, my early game damage is still actually pretty weak. My my, my full Q E W combo on, on, and I'm decently fed. I'm three zero and two, right? And it only took right. me down thirty five percent of his health or so. Um, so I really need to be wait until my oh, let's see, let's see. Mm. I, can, I might be able to. Okay, I don't even need to get there. By somebody, by the way, somebody was saying, you know, I said big feeder earlier. They didn't see Zyrol. Now you did. Big feeder. So you can see in that scenario, because I hit my blade on like four, I hit four of the blades there, so I was able to heal for quite a bit, and I hit both of them with my W, which gave me a pretty sizable shield, so I actually took no damage on that trade, mm -hmm. and did quite a bit of damage to both of them there. Right. So you get the variant on, on him, combined with your damage, that's good night, Kel. Wow. Almost. Almost. Looks like you guys are bullying this top lane pretty well. Yeah, I'm trying to camp it pretty heavily because um, with Kel in lane, I know they're looking to initiate a lot, so I can just counter initiate that uh, every single time Kel, Kel does because it's kind of like a kill lane. So, um, level 10, and grab exceed. Been slain. Uh, GS Roundtable does the ulti hit creeps? No, it's shaper only. Shaper only. And somebody asked, can you be targeted during that ulti? No, you cannot be targeted. You, you cannot. Can untar it makes you untargetable for 1.75 yep. seconds. Alright, nice. Um, let's see here. Uh, how many characters do we have so far? So our characters in this game are called Shapers. Well, Alex takes out the oh, money makes so oh, goodbye. Shit. Yeah, you guys shut down. <laughs> so, uh, we have, uh, 15 Shapers. That is, I should say, Kindra will make, f uh, 15 Shapers. Uh, currently live, as of the last build, there were 14. But once we implement Kindra, she will be the 15th. I kind of want to rush Strife here because I'm playing the jungle, so I'm g I can stack it on workers pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Although, it kind of... Your spirit mm. well is under attack. Strife, one of those uh, recommended items. Well it's not normally, but because I am, I have such easy access to workers this game because I'm really fed, so I can Your kind of be in their well jungle pretty safely. Attack. Yeah, I'm kind of considering picking it up. Um, oh, not a terrible, especially since they just took this spear well, so it'll be kind of a fresh supply of workers for me to stack it. I think I'm gonna go ahead yeah. and pick that up. Okay. And ten vim here. Just chilling out. Just chilling. See something you like? Uh, Zyval's asking, are you able to E to ally? Uh, yes. Yes, okay. So it is friendly or, or enemy tar shapers. Yep, so you can you can go in, get a kill, and then use it to escape. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Can the blink, uh, can her E dodge uh, stuns or other CC? It does not pop projectiles, however her ultimate will. Okay. So you can use her ultimate to dodge. In fact, uh, it's really nice because it'll dodge other ultimates that have kind of long wind-ups on them, like Ceruleans, which has a very like long jump animation. I can just ult, and um, it'll basically fizzle out his ult. Okay. I won't take any damage from it. Potato wants to know, are you able to E while ulting? Uh, you are not. The ultimate locks you. So ultimate basically, you. you're you're going, you're going, that train is set. Wherever uh, wherever that target runs to, you're, you're going to be popped. So it also can be used, if you get ulted by her, you can take her, you can kind of optimize her positioning with it. Right? Uh, let's see here. Can you eat awards? No Bamboo 2, you may not eat awards. Only Shapers. Your spirit well is under really attack. Want to, they know I'm coming here, but... Mm -hmm. Easy. The enemy get 11 real quick if I bring through my ultimate. Uh, Corvonia, uh, the three hours are being, uh, that are being added on, Corvonia is asking about the uh, extended beta windows that we're doing this weekend. Oh, no. They're actually going from three to mi uh, from 12 p.m. to midnight uh, Pacific, so it's going to be tacked onto the end, uh, not onto the front front end. Uh, the main reason is is that uh, with our current hours, we're giving uh, we're giving uh, West Coast uh, NA players scant chance to play the game basically um kind of the uh, do they have a ward there kind of the the ex uh, the yes. exact opposite problem that uh, eu players have where the game is usually too late for eu folks and we're very well aware of that uh the testing is usually too late for them and it's uh and too early for na folks so 
Right now, the easiest thing for us to, to remedy is actually uh, turning, keeping the service on just a little bit later. Um, but we will eventually get to the point where we're 24-7 on the weekends, guys. So. And I promise you, that will probably be sooner rather than later, but uh, thank you for your patience. We really appreciate that. Don't have to play from nine in the evening to nine in the morning, guys. Uh, you know, we we I'm really excited that you want to play. You know, but maybe uh, maybe play from like nine to midnight, get six hours of sleep, and then you know play from play from uh, from you know six to nine. Yeah, that's that's probably a good combination. You know, get yourself some rest. Of course we do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be the responsible, uh, responsible parent here, and 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 recommend moderation, please. An ally has been Try to get up there to clean that up. Sleep is for the weak. Well, there's not a 24-hour week uh, window, guys. I just want to make sure that we all know that it's a 12-hour, 12-hour, and 12-hour. So noon, noon to midnight, noon to midnight, both days. Oh wow, this is a great question here. Execute. See if we can. Yeah, that get, that uh, Kel's getting pretty beefy now. Yep, the tank's gonna be hard for me to kill. <laughs> um, so uh, somebody is asking, what happens if you ult a Dibs right before he ults? You know, <laughs> I don't know, but I would probably go on a on an exciting adventure, <laughs> a, magi a magical ride. I'd, I'd be taken on a magic carpet ride across the Don Gate. <laughs> I think we need to test this. That sounds that sounds like uh, like an exciting time. It does sound like a uh, an exciting time. Advise I rule. Uh, so oh, double kill. Anyone else want to play? Anyone? So the E is target only. What about your ulti? Yes, it is target only. My as well. ult is target only as well. Yeah. But it's it's pretty short range. Mm -hmm. um, you can see the range. This is the range of my ultimate. Once I lock on that target, it'll um, I'm on that target for the duration of it. Mm -hmm. How dull. Wait for her to E. Stuck. I rule escape origin is not pleased. I want you to know that. <laughs> jungle Ma Oh, you're playing Jungle Makella right now. Zyrul, that big that big counter counterculture guy. He's Hipster Dongate player. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No! Oh! Dodging the E, basically negating the burst. Uh, although he's probably going to try and get that. Never mind. Never mind. Yes, he says, no problem. No problem. No problem. It's a, it's a pretty good way of saying, uh, as Scott Moore likes to say, keezy. <laughs> keezy. See if I can heal up on the jungle creeps a little bit. Random is just the win is asking, uh, would it be viable to build life steal on Kendra? Absolutely. Um, since life drain works on abilities in Dongate and she does heavy ability burst, you can do that. However, her defenses are still pretty weak. So, like life drain, while it will heal her very quick, if she gets stunned, basically all in a team fight, she's just gonna vaporize. So, right. um, it's good in like single target duels, like one v one, but it's not gonna do too much to keep you alive in a team fight. Yeah. Um, in your ultimate. Because it does pretty heavy damage, especially in a team fight, and it makes you untargetable. It'll if you have enough life drain, it heals you for a pretty sizable chunk during that duration. But mm -hmm. um, I prefer getting assimilation, which has a, a, the passive effect on dying storm, causes you to get healed when you get a kill or an assist, which synergizes very well to her assassin, assassin and style and gives you some life drain and defense down. penetration. It's basically the quintessential the assassin item. Um, it's really strong on her. Okay. Uh, non kinder question, but somebody's asking if it's possible for the Parasite to evolve while people are in the middle of combat with them. Uh, no, it's an, it is delayed while it's in combat. Okay. Lost that binding there. That's unfortunate. I need to, how's my Strife stacks doing? Not Your bad, 20 power out of it already. Attack. Not too bad. Your so that, binding has over 60 power. My Strife is a relatively new item, right? Yeah, we introduced it in the beta um, last week. Not or last week, but I think the, the, Petrus, patch. the patch before. Yeah. yeah, it was the Petrus patch, that's right, okay. It's nice that it gives me a little bit of added survivability, which is nice. Is. Stacking damage is very useful. An enemy. Read the wrong way, like I noob. Kind of missed that a little bit. <laughs> it does trigger the damage in a small area around her, so I at least hit the small one. But mm -hmm. 
So uh, here's a good question. Um, who would you recommend, uh, and this is, I'm paraphrasing Kel Zui, uh, FCV's question, uh, who would you recommend as a, heart, as a counter to Kendra? So anybody with hard CC, Freya especially is really strong because she has uh, about three seconds of single target CC lockdown. Um, you can right. just wait for her. Once she ults, you know exactly where she's going to land, so you can just uh, fear into an E stun right when she lands, and that really shuts her down. Yep. Uh, Zeri's also really strong too, because right when I E in to do my combo, I can get silenced um, by her, and that just like, causes me to sit there like a fool and die, because I'm in the middle of a team. Um, so there, both of those are very strong counters. Um, the flip side of that is Kinder herself is a very, very strong counter to anybody with, with skill shots like um, An ally has uh, Amrit, for slain. example. Her E puts her behind the target, so when I like E this Ugger right here, you'll see that I go behind him. Right. Um, so I basically wait for the animation An tell on anybody who fires a slain. skill shot towards me, and then I'll E, and it'll land me behind them dodging the skill shot. So let's see if I can go behind these people and clean this up here. An so, so I wonder... Uh, I wonder, you know, are we going to get, um, because we've seen, you know, I, I would say, oh wow, what a good, <laughs> never mind, <laughs> we've seen a, we've seen a pretty decent amount of people who have, uh, who have uh, expressed concerns, uh, for lack of a better term, oh, oh goodbye, don't kill me, it's gonna, oh wow, An ally uh, is about, oh, yeah. um, about Amaranth's birth, so do you see, uh, Kendra as being kind of a, uh, a salve to that a little bit, and, yeah, might, might Kendra's a... Uh, feedback. Oh. Greedy. Yeah, greedy. Oh! What? Oh, Boom. Oh, check minus. Too greedy. So Too greedy. That, for example, is a great reason of why Kendra <laughs> is a counter, because her E puts her behind all of those skill shots that Amaris launches, so... Oh, check minus. Big theater. He thought I was looking at the chop, but I wasn't. He was. Yeah, he, he did think that. Dominating. An ally has been shut down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the uh, the stream does approve <laughs> of that play, by the way. So I notice, have you guys, uh, nobody's touched Parasite this entire match so far. It's true, it's because we're, you know, this is, this is, this is, this is YOLO Q here. Because you have Mikella in the jungle? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Neither of the team's junglers can really sustain. Like tank parasite very well. Fair enough. Um, uh, Tidman three one two is asking, why would you not get conquest on her? Uh, if you're a stacking damages an assassin, it seems a pretty nice core core item. Conquest is awesome. I get conquest on her quite a bit actually. It, well, like if I ever if I ever need haste, I go I go conquest all the time. Mm. My go to haste item. That Kel is turned into quite the quite the beastly tank. It looks like. I just saw the hope active, and he's got a almost three k hit points. Yeah. He's getting pretty big. He's getting oh, pretty no. big. Mm -hmm. I'll just distract my strife a little more. Get some more damage for this fight. Mm -hmm. What's it at now? 30 power? Doing pretty well. Yep. Oh, like 80% of that's for workers too. Workers are great at stacking strife. Alright, now time to clean this up. Optic speed. Enemy has been slain. Chan Lu, when you take a spirit well and you have strife, uh, you get stacks when you kill workers. Uh, if you don't kill the workers and capture the spirit wells, you won't get. The, I, I correct me if I'm wrong on this, but you will not. You should not get the stacks because you actually didn't physically kill the workers. The act of capturing the spirit well did. Correct. Boom! Dominated. Uh, I was listening to what you were saying. I was too busy dominating fools. You were so too busy just wiping out that team. Good lord. Uh, so Dr. Chandler, let's go ahead and we'll just go with a no. You don't get kills on the workers. <laughs> These plays. So we're showing right now the extreme snowball potential of, uh, of Kendra. Yep. She, she can do it. If she, gets, if she gets a lead like I did early game, she, she will dominate. She is quite strong. Nine and one. See, it's tricky too because the enemy team really is sad against me because uh, their their CC they have basically two forms of hard CC in their entire team, which right. is Kel and Amaranth. And Amaranth is really really unreliable against me because as you saw earlier, it's that forward skill shot. It's not single target, so yep. I can I can avoid it really easily with a number of reasons. I can E out of the way. My ultimate will make me immune to it. Um, so really, the only form of CC they have in this entire game that can stop me is Kel. It's kind of this is kind of the one of the unfortunate natures of the line pick, right? Is that like. Um, I'm actually extremely strong against their particular team. Yes. An ally has been 
slain. Zyrule says, I will take one of you with me. I didn't want to blow my ult there, but... Oh well. Uh, I kind of... Your spirit well is under oh well. I kind of needed to. Uh, Alright. Well so, uh, uh, somebody's asking, when you get a kill, does your E reset? And the answer to that is The answer yes. to that is yes. Yep. Her, uh, her EQ and W all reset on kills. Oh! Hello! <laughs> Hello! Is under attack. Goodbye. Oh. Well. So, so brutal. That that was fascinating. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly what was up with that. that oh goodness, Gasty is just Gasty's just basically dominating this game at this point. Uh, um, you should have you should have done. Oh, so close! You could have. I could have I could have gone on a magic carpet right there. If you I was could have. An inch well, closer. your ult was also on cooldown, unfortunately. But that killed. We touched my E. So I could have E to him. <laughs> but who knows what that would have. Who been. knows what happened? The universe might have actually imploded on itself. Hey, we broke 400. So we will. Uh, if Gasty wins, which I'm just going to go out on a limb and say, this might be a win here. Uh, uh, run away, run away. So you can basically sidestep... Oh no, because that's targeted lock-on, right? Kel? Uh, no, Michaela. Oh yeah, it's targeted. It is targeted. Her, so ultimate. her ultimate is targeted, so you can't sidestep that. You can get in, however, get but in her face and make her go, wah! If she, if she ults me, and I, uh, well... I don't know what would happen if she ults me and then I ult, because I'm not targetable, but she's already targeted me. Who knows? Something would happen. <laughs> I'm guessing we'll find out this weekend in the beta. Probably. When somebody tells us. Yeah, I think I always so take you will, damage. You will actually. take the damage, okay. Because the target's already been applied. Mm -hmm. That is right. That's what a bit that is what player systems designers do. They break the game. Moxie, oh. Moxie. You leave leaving Caleb out, out to dry. Abandoning here. Caleb, saying, sorry, Caleb. I might be able to get here to go over this wall in time to save him. Nope. Me. Oh, hello. I don't think Caleb had his ult on him, unfortunately. Or that or he used it on Moxie. Hi, Kel. Hi, Kel. Oh, oh no! Yep. What? Baited. Oh, you didn't die? I was like, I was like, I thought I killed him, so I was trying to eat my friend over hey. on the other side of the wall, and I'm like, why isn't it on cooldown? What's going on? Hey, hey, Scott, would you say that he was baited and outplayed there? Oh, and outsmarted, excuse me, baited and outsmarted. That <laughs> so that's, that's one of the weaknesses of her ultimate, right? Is because I ulted Kel, he took me over the wall, and then stasis, so yeah. then I was kind of deposited. It was like, here, have a delightful Kindra treat in the middle, nice. into the middle of the team. It was delicious. Yeah. It was a delicious uh, Kindred treat. Sad times. It was. <laughs> Baited and outsmarted. Um, so, yeah. Uh, SF, can you surrender in this game? Yes, you can. Uh, but I think that our developers are more interested in giving you guys uh, a good show right now. It's so. actually not a that, good game. A good game. That, and even, like, I am doing extremely well this game. However, the rest of my yes. team, as a result of me having all the kills, like, if they kill me, they actually are going to win the team fight. Um, even though you guys are up by 15 kills. Right, because. Or 30, 4, 30, 14 kills, excuse right, me. Because almost all those kills are on me. Mm -hmm. um, like that. Like once I'm dead, it's it's like even or in their favor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are trying for the uh, for the parasite. An ally has been slain. They did manage to. They didn't. They did manage to secure the parasite. I mean, and, and I think the goal was there to actually deny you guys a parasite more so than to take it for themselves. Although I'm sure that's a secondary, a good secondary effect. There's the bubble. And I saw that coming. Yeah, I just outranged it. I, I'm pretty sure he's uh, in intent on getting away from you right now. Seems likely. Unfortunately, Gasty's ward is currently on cooldown, so he's not going to be able to check bushes uh, on his way back in. Did I kill him? 122 magic resistance? Nope. Mm -mm. I kill any of these guys right yeah. now? I don't think so. They're all having a fair amount of magic resistance because I'm super yeah. fed. So. And this kind of, uh, the what, what Gasty's doing right now kind of plays into something that we talked about yesterday with, a, with an assassin, you know, even though you're doing really good, even though you're really snowballing, you are still super, super duper squishy. Like, you don't want to be initiating on those fights. You want to wait for your team to initiate and basically be the follow-up. Yep. Save that ult for, for that divs. Wait for the divs. Just do it. Yeah, like, one of the most important things about playing Assassin is just not even showing yourself in a team fight. Like, if a, if a team fight is posturing, don't and don't just, like, be in the back. Just don't be visible, because if they see you, they're going to try to hold their hard CC for you. Mm -hmm. um, but they'll likely use hard CC, like, on Caleb here if they just don't see me visible. Like, right there. Like, right there, yep. Which kind of frees me up to... Um, now, he's tank, so it didn't do much. But nope. if he was, say, a squishy mage, uh, that would have been awesome. Yep. And they they smell blood right now. Zyrule. Face-checking. Number one face-checker, NA Zyrule. 
face check in that bush. <laughs> Doesn't matter how good you orb walk right now, Scott. You're gonna go down, and he did. Is under attack. The enemy captured. Wow. Well. I need to go back and drop uh, Vanquish too. I don't need any more. <laughs> oh, I wish you guys could hear all the all the trash talking going on in the office right now, in the studio right now, folks. So if you uh, if you have not played Dongate yet, the spellbook system, which is basically our form of activated items, um, you can you get a free one at levels one, ten, and twenty, but you can get rid of them for four hundred vim, which is our version of gold at any right. time. So I'm getting rid of Vanquish because I no longer need it to jungle. Um, and I'm gonna pick up Blink instead. That's right. Uh, Dark Aureli, it's not ghastly, it's ghasty. It's <laughs> so true, it's true. No L. No L. Uh, so yes, uh, 200 ba use beta key uh, if ghasty wins. So stick around. Uh, it'll be after after the game, though. Spirit after the game. Is under we are over 400 viewers right now. So. Well oh, we should be able to clean this up. Attack. You should be able to clean it up. Yes, absolutely. Two, five seconds on exceed. Uh, we should fix the FPS issue. So if you're talking about what you're seeing right now in the top corner, that's not... Accurate. Wow, that was a really good blind ult there. Um, that's not really an accurate assessment of the FPS. Basically, what you're seeing is kind of like a real-time uh, measurement of FPS. Uh, it's not like what you normally see on your screens at home, like on completed, you know, finished software, which is like a smoothed out FPS meter. Uh, but the game actually performs extremely well on this computer. We don't have our AD carry. Oh, the throws! The throws via no zombie. Um. Goodness. Oxy down. So this is looking rather grim right now for your team, unless you can clean it up. There's one. <laughs> he has he has the possibility of cleaning this up pretty strong right now. Uh, looks like he's posturing right now for Mikella. Uh, uh, nope. Kella saw that coming a mile away. Uh, Unfortunately, without the with the uh, with the, the is it the stasis on cooldown? All yeah. my stuff is on all, cooldown. Uh, I, all of the outs. I used everything on that fight. Yeah, yeah. that is very. True. That was that was. We should not have engaged that forty-five. That was an error. Yeah, that was a uh, that was pretty rough. Uh, will there be a ra uh, draft slash ranked mode? You know, eventually, guys. Absolutely, yeah. Eventually. The enemy captured. The EG throws. Ouch. <laughs> Let's uh, let's hope Gasty's team can turn this around and and not have uh, not throw this one. The viewers are counting on you. It's true. Let's see. What do I want with my last item? I need to grab another power because that strife kind of took away took away the location. I don't have an impression there. Yep. Zerudo, Devs Blue or Red team? Uh, Devs both teams. This sure. is our this is our internal play test we got going on right now. Uh, so, uh, by the way, guys, just while uh, while Gasty is waiting to respawn and kind of talking a little bit of uh, a little bit of strategy, just to let you all know, we will be starting our live stream a little bit late tomorrow. Um, we uh, are going to be actually some of us are going to be heading over to a LAN party here in the Bay Area, uh, something called Gaming Nine Two Five. So we will be there and starting the we'll start the live stream from the from that LAN party. Be a little bit later on, and we'll probably end a little bit early tomorrow. But uh, just to let you all know. That is the current plan. So you can see I crit three times in a row there for 410 on that jungle creeps. My mm -hmm. auto attacks, now that I'm getting my in-game build, are actually starting to get pretty sizable. Like I have I have 30% crit chance, so not, mm -hmm. ba not bad for a uh, for a mage here. Right on. An enemy has been slain. Needed that green buff. Need a lot of power. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now... You can see, even with a, almost a full build, uh, Gasty is only at 199 Oops. power. And with the green buff, Gasty is only at 199 power. Oh, Zyrul. Oh, wow. Jeez! Brutal! Do you have it in you? It's possible, I think I do. Uh, yep, if, yep, there you go. There you go. Uh, death via zombie, uh, taking it like a, taking it like a boss right there. Tanking that tower for you, allowing you to clean up on that final kill. Back my strife a little more on these mm -hmm. delightful workers. Almost at 40 power from it. Strife has the capability of being the highest power item in the game if you stack it a lot, so. Mm -hmm. Your team has captured a spirit well. Alright, let's, let's see. We still have. They're still down. We can probably push another binding out this. 
Somebody was asking uh, if the uh, the land party that we're going to tomorrow is public or not, and yes, it is public. I'll put a link to it in the chat. Um, that's the event right page for it. It's not like a big. Uh, it's not a big big land party. It's kind of small. Uh, we're just honestly going to, to hang out and to check out the vibe, and, and to actually play games ourselves too. Like we're going to be there with some Dawn Gate beta keys and stuff. Uh, but part of it is we just want to we want to go there and play games and hang out and experience the vibe there. So. So you picked up the blue buff, so that is haste, and you have so you have haste and power right now, correct? Yep. Okay. Basically, everything everything that I want. Uh, Dragon wants to know how many strife stacks do you have right now? This is very important stuff. Uh, I have a lot. It doesn't say the total stack count, but mm -hmm. I have a whole lot, probably close to 100 on it. Okay. Tiresome. Wonder if the green is up. So yeah, if you're in the Bay Area. And you're, you're, you you got tomorrow and Saturday open. Should uh, check out that land party see if there's still still slots open. You can go there and you can meet myself, uh, the best biggest feeder in on the team, Scott Moore. Um, That's true. No more no more feeder in A. And Captain No Patch. Captured a spirit well. I'm really cute. Well, thanks. How dull. That's how Thank you very oh, yeah, much. Yeah, it's got a parasite. It is time for Parasite. So you guys are 37 minutes in at this point. Uh, Parasite's going to be in stage 3, which means he's going to give uh, a, obviously a sizable uh, global dim reward, in addition to giving a significant uh, power and health regeneration more buff as well. Yep. Moxie Garen just going to stand there in the AoE and say, I don't care about your damage, Parasite. I'm just going to take it. Um, and he's going to continue to just hang out there and now he's gonna go ham against the other team why because that's how challenger rolls <laughs> all right so got another pain up my nash tree outstanding grab a freshen don't quite enough for it yet okay and grab a, a power flask as well since i think this might if we can make it the final, the final, push, push, it. The final push yeah nice so this will actually give me I have a, because of the parasite buff, I have a ton of throughput right now. 372 power is a lot. Would you say you would melt faces right now? Oh yeah. Okay. My all on a single target is going to do... Uh, that number times three is the single target max damage, so a lot. So tedious. Um, thanks, Pat. I saw that. Uh, oh, here's a great question. Who's better, you or Pluto? Oh, Pluto is better for me. Aww. Pluto's boss. Let's see here. An enemy binding has it would be nice to see in chat or somewhere who pinged on the map, don't you think? Yes, I'm sure that we do think that. That would be nice. That would be nice. That would be a feature. Which we probably just haven't had the opportunity to develop yet. But we may be working on it. Maybe. Yeah, we're looking to do a big overhaul of our ping system, guys. Um, we know that there's a lot of kind of issues around it with people being able to spam it and them uh, not giving you as much information as you wanted, so it'll, it'll, it'll come soon. There's a significant, we can just say, there's a significant amount of room for improvement right now. Yep. So, we are working on it. Lazarilla, we're going to give some beta keys out uh, here in a little bit, assuming, of course, that Gasty and his team will win this game. To introduce beta key coming if Gasty and his team wins. Uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, Gasty is currently playing uh, Kendra, our new assassin shaper that uh, is soon to be introduced to, to Dawngate. So be sure to check her out. If you uh, are just tuning in, I would definitely recommend going back checking out the VOD later on so you can see what all of her abilities and see all of the epic plays that Gasty has made this game in on his way to being 14 and 3. Ow, ow, oh man, I was like slowed inside that fire. Oh, oh that's painful. That was the Guardian's fire that he made. That yes, really hurt. and the binding just respawned. Okay, we should... Oh, okay. Okay, oh, not a good spot. Uh, it's an awesome spot. Although, oh, uh, would have been an awesome spot. Uh, I can't believe that he stasis when I had, like, one hit on him. I needed to get that. If I if, if he did not stasis that, I would have cleaned up that whole fight. Mm -hmm. Because it would, have, it would have triggered a chain of resets. My goodness. Scott Moore showing showing why uh, he's showing why he's the QA lead here with that, that nick of nick of just in the nick of time stasis. Uh, it wasn't him. It was it was Richard. Oh, was it? Oh, was it check minus? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. 
he's 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 getting me back for for oh, yes, the, okay. the pro plays I had on him earlier. Fair enough. Fair enough. Were they pro plays or was it just him making bad plays? Ow. A little scary right now for for our fearless heroes. Yeah, right now. that was that was really one of our first big derps. Um, that and getting caught here four v five. But that one was just like I could have we could have won the game right there. But that stasis should really turned that fight around. Because like I said, like I'm most of our team's throughput right now. So I made a pretty risky play there. I was like, well, I can go, I can go in here. I'll be in the middle of their whole team. My team's behind that wall, so they can't really back me up. But <laughs> I was pretty confident in getting two kills and then being able to go back over that wall to my team. But that, that stasis really so shut me down. And he, he did it in the nick of time, like mm -hmm. half a second late, and I would have cleaned that fight up. Ikakashi Hataki, uh, are we going to have some sort of spectate mode? Yeah, eventually. Yep. Uh, it's just, you know, those are the kind of things that we, we know they're kind of expected features uh, when it comes to uh, MOBAs. Uh, but right now, uh, it's it's not a I would call a priority at the moment because we're in such early beta that it's basically we're all about making the game fun first. So we'll get there, guys. We will get there. All right, let's. My little toys. Mm. Mm. What is her auto attack scaling? It seems to be more than mages, but le but less than bruisers. Uh, that, well, you said ADC. But that is correct. That is correct. There we go. She gets. Uh, you can see here. She gets a uh, point three damage per point of power. Okay. Which is slightly higher than a regular mage because she's melee. I hydroponic uh, key, please, guys. I crashed my... I, you crashed your bong? What are you doing driving your bong? Anyways. Um, <laughs> Waygate, yes, the makers of Dawnstone. That's right. Oh, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Oh... Uh, yes. So we're willing to jump on somebody who doesn't have an escape. Mm. Uh, HDK Dota has the dev team. Dev team discussed plans for a standard three-lane map game mode. So uh, for Dawngate, uh, this map is the standard. Um, for other game modes, you know, right now that's not a priority. It's not really something we're working on. Oh, poor Caleb. Uh, not really something we're working on at the moment. Uh, right now we're working on getting this map uh, polished. Uh, so it shines bright. Oh, this is not going to look good right now. Well, you might be able to turn this around here. Dominating. And Pluto has been slain. Uh, oh! Slain. Good night. Goodbye. <laughs> yep. Oh, that was everything. And exceed. Oh That's my true. goodness. That Strider is really doing a lot of damage. Yeah, right? he's, the Strider is pretty hurty right now. Wow. Wow. The plays. Oh. Wow, so that close. One, that one auto attack really hurt. <laughs> oh man, those Striders though, I mean, that you cannot, you can't discount them. Like, you can see the Strider has his own little section of death recap here. It yeah. 550 damage to me, that's why I had to blink out of there. Ow. Yeah. I mean, I'm not fighting in the middle of that guy. Mm -hmm. I've made that mistake more than once. That Professor Dazzle, new MUBA, the EA cash cow. Well, only if we're lucky. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, yes, we're in a business and we want to make money. Uh, we also want to make a fun game. So hopefully we can do both at the same time. That's kind of the idea. So, yeah. is under attack. The enemy captured your spirit well. When will we release skins? Um, we will release skins... Uh, when we're ready to? Uh, so uh, the answer to that is we're, we're really not doing monetization stuff right now, guys, or talking business model just yet. Uh, you know, we will. And when we get to that point, you know, we'll be sharing all that information with you guys before it even goes live. So, uh, But for, for right now, we just we really have to focus in on the gameplay. That is the top priority. Keeps the mind focused. An enemy binding has respawned. Um... I love these people who are uh, making fun of an EA employee talking about money. I mean, guys, I, I, want, I want you to understand something. You know, yes, we love making video games. We love doing what we're doing. But no matter what uh, any game developer tells you, this is a business. We are we are in it to make a profit and to make money. And hopefully, we do that in a way that is you know is uh, genuine and that players basically. I look at it this way: like 
I spent lots of money on games like League of Legends. I have absolutely zero regret about that because I feel as though uh, I, I get my money's worth out of it. Best case for that was that was that was pretty good for you guys there though. Check my. We need to not be fighting in the middle of parasite. Yeah, like, that's railing on us. Yeah. Ouch. Ouches. So, anyways, time to run. Oh, Moxie. Wow. Is he going to survive? If he is, it's going to be just barely. Maybe is that W up? Oh. Well, how did I not get in range for that? I don't know. Probably a good thing you didn't, honestly. Oh, oh, Ghost Rider, go! Nope. Your binding is under attack. Your spirit well is under I'm watching attack. for the ward over the wall. <laughs> so he can get vision. No way I can, okay. I can do it. Alright. Because he would just right click well. me and one all attack would kill me before I can do anything. Mm -hmm. Uh, plans on goodies for beta players. Uh, so, like skins or something like that. Yeah, no. I mean, I know that's a, that's kind of an expected convention. Um, we've we've had discussions about it, but nothing like in great detail yet. But rest assured, you know, like we know that's. Oh wow, baited. I'm almost. You almost did, but it was almost kind of ugly for you too. Binding is under attack. I was just negative carry there. Nobody was CC. I wasn't that worried about it. Binding like hell. Destroyed. I was over here. He's outside administration range. Oh, okay. I thought it was. Uh, I thought he was in the bush there. That was Barian who was in the bush. Oh, okay. But they look so much alike. That's right. <laughs> Giant sheep man. Giant sheep man and guy with gun look very much alike. Perfect composition. Don't wear them out while I'm away. One of these. You can do it. You can do it, sir. And a flask of moxie, a flask of moxie, which is giving you just a. A little bit more hit points, more life. 45 power on my strife now. Uh, there. Marta Basalo, any shapers with a global ult in the future? Uh, sure, we do have shapers with global ults in the game right now. Um, I, uh, the design team is not closed off to the idea of them as long as they make sense. Is that an accurate assessment, Gasty? Yeah, I mean, Dibs already has a global ult right now. Uh, he can fly mm -hmm. anywhere on the map. That's right. Do -do -do. Maybe there. Is the server online now? His dam depends on which server you're talking about. The public beta, or see the public closed beta server? No, it's not online right now. Uh, this is actually one of our internal servers uh, that's online at the moment. Is there an in-game voice system? Uh, no, there is not. Are you stoned? No. Oh! Why did you... Okay. Well... Team... Ma no. Uh-uh. You guys gotta... You guys gotta tur... You guys gotta turtle that up. I don't think so. Uh, probably not, but you know. This is looking rather grim for our, for our fearless heroes here. Important question, when will there be dance command, the slash dance command is important. Um, I don't know the answer to that question. Oh wow, insult to injury there in the base. Do it Zeri, you can, you can do it. You can do it Zeri, go Zeri! No, you're not gonna do it. Oh, Pluto. <laughs> uh, bummer, well... You know, we got over we got over six hundred people watching the stream, so I, I'd say we'll still we'll still give that two hundred use beta key away, anyways. That's true. It's you got, true. You got, I was I was doing well until I threw the game of the race. Gotta give them the keys, anyways. So. We do, we do. You did. You were carrying pretty hard there at the beginning, but uh, towards the end, you threw big time. It's I would true. say, uh, if I if I may be so bold as to say so. That happens. As somebody who throws a lot, I would know what's throwing what throwing looks like. That is what it looks like. <laughs> All right. So if you could scoot you over a little bit, sir, I'm very sorry about that, guys. But hey. Uh, yeah, Pluto. <laughs> uh, hey, Pluto. The players are saying you rage quit. Oh, leave your headphones on, dude. Are we doing a thing? Yeah, we'll do a thing while we're giving away keys. Oh, I, need okay. you to, I need you to hang out. I see. Yes. Alrighty. 
That's okay. Uh, question, have you no shame? No, I have none. Absolutely none. Um, I stream four days a week. I can't, have, I can't afford to have shame. That's right. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to put a Veda key in the chat window here uh, while Gasty uh, answers some questions uh, about what just happened. So give me a second here while I do this. Uh, I'm going to switch over to the main cam. What did you guys? Uh, so hey, chat. Well, uh, while we're while we're doing this, uh, what did you all think of uh, your first first look at Kendra? How'd you like it? We'll let, wait for that to go through. And uh, no, not that. No, there we go. All right. So there we go. Uh, 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 okay. There we go. All right. So we're good to go there. So let's see what chat thought of uh, their first look at Kendra. Let's see here. Two dudes high fived in the back. Those were the guys who won the game, probably. <laughs> That's um, right. It's probably, probably true. Looks strong, balanced. She's OP. A <laughs> uh, couple of us, uh, cat, uh, cat comparisons. I think you know uh, there can, there's similarities there, but uh, obviously you know she has a lot of different, um, a lot of different, uh, different uh, differentiating aspects to her. Do we want a LAN option, or is that only going to be implemented if esports becomes a thing? Um, that's not really been decided yet. I think, like, no matter what, if we did something like that, and I'm kind of speaking out of my ass right now, but I, I would imagine that if we did something like that, it, you would still have to authenticate against uh, our, our login servers. Um, but, you know, we would do maybe, like, kind of like how other MOBAs have, like, a tournament mode custom game type of thing. I think they're talking about things like what Riot's doing now, which is that they actually use a LAN mode for yeah. that's not interrupted yeah. by internet connection. It's yeah. something that's certainly technically possible. I mean, if we get to that point, there's no reason we couldn't do that. Mm-hmm. All righty. Uh, what do you think of EA business, business ethics? I think that they are really no different from any other uh, corporation. So, uh, let's see here. Looks fun. I think needs. I think adds needed magic damage. Needs to add more magic damage. She's already got quite a bit she of damage. She has quite a few damages. That was blowing yeah. people up real good that game. Yep. Uh, will Origin be required for this? No, Origin. Uh, the Origin Origin client is not required. And by the way, guys, make sure you're reading the FAQ down below. Uh, a lot of these questions yep, are answered down there. If you scroll down on the Twitch page, you'll see the FAQ. Yep. Uh, but uh, the Origin client's not required. We use the Origin account system. That's it. So, um, will equal sellout. Uh, Astro Gaming, Red Bull, Vodka, <laughs> whatever. I don't love you too, CSL James. Um, Let's see here. Uh, you know, CPAS, you can keep trolling um, all you want, sir. Uh, has anyone ever told you that you look like Dignitas Ascara? Only every day. That's all right, though. Let's see here. Are there going to be modifications to the resources? Like, they deplete. Oh, kind of like how in StarCraft, uh, minefields will deplete over time. Um, there, we have experimented with making them depletable internally in the past as we were in development. Um, mm -hmm. We moved away from that for some complicated reasons that I can talk about in detail at some other point. But, um, so they're probably not going to be depletable, although there's always options for, you know, new game modes and changes that we can incorporate an element like that. Yep. Um, do you ever play with the beta testers? Every beta test we play with the beta yeah, testers. Yeah, well, the whole dev team is very active during the beta test. I mean, we... Yep. We this is this is not just our job, but it's our passion. Like we we really love making this game and love playing it. I mean, yep. it's like I was on vacation a couple of weeks ago, and I spent like most of my vacation just like on my phone answering questions on Reddit, right? Because I was so I'm so passionate about the project. So we're yep. we're absolutely um, on on the beta all all week. Yep. Uh, C Paz, I'm not trolling. I just hate EA. So uh, I'm going to take a moment really quickly and just I'm going to address the the EA hate thing. I've done it before in the forums, uh, but I, I'm more than happy to do it right now. So you know, look, uh, I think that EA, uh, the folks in e within EA, are very aware of uh, the perception that a lot of people have uh, regarding the company. Um, however, uh, you know, we're not going to sit here and talk about how we're going to do things differently, right? Um, you know, internally we have a goal that we're not going to, you know, be voted on the consumerist again. Uh, that's not going to happen. Uh, we're we're going to be putting players first and things like that, right? So we have all these goals, but we're not going to go out there and shove it down your throat about how, oh, we're going to do all this stuff. We're just going to do it. I mean, that's basically what Frank Chabot told us, who's the, the president of the games label. He said, you know, it's really easy to talk about stuff. It's a lot easier. It's a lot harder to go out and just do it and prove to people 
that you're going to put players first and that you're going to talk to them and be communicat communicative and, and, and things like that. And so that's kind of our imperative here at Waystone Games. That's what we're doing. Uh, that's what this is, this transparency that you're seeing right now, uh, uh, both in like our, uh, you know, our multiple times per week play tests, uh, you know, our weekly catch up where we talk about in depth about what's in development uh, and things like this, where we reveal gameplay for the first time to you guys via a live stream with a developer playing the character. I mean, these are the kind of things that we're going to do to prove it and we're going to keep doing it, guys. So uh, totally get the question, uh, totally understand uh, why you're asking it, um, but I'd rather not dwell on it, and I'd rather that we just get around, get back to, you know, showing you guys how much we care about this game and uh, our players. So there we go. Uh, so, all right, let's go ahead and let's give away this, uh, let's get, go ahead and give away this beta key. What do you all think? All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so 200 use beta key going into the video in three, two, one. Boom. All right. There you go. All right, all right. Somewhere. There it is. There it is. <laughs> right there. Eh, eh, eh. There you go, guys. Alrighty. That key is going, uh, is 200 uses, so use it up, guys. Uh, if you don't use it, uh, if you don't get it, get it, uh, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, there will be more beta keys in the future. Uh, but this one is, uh, this one's good for 200 uses, so we'll wait for folks to start, to start saying, no, I missed it. Go ahead and ask them. We'll ask them, answer some more questions. And we'll if you do miss it, we often give away key. We stream on during our beta events, uh, which will true. be done tomorrow, and we often give away keys during the beta event as well. So keep tuning in um, mm -hmm. if you don't get a key this time. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see. Uh, somebody, I saw some other questions. Uh, do I have a way to report people? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, when are we going to have a beer of the week again? Uh, when when pa uh, Paradoxic comes back from, when Dave comes back from vacation, he's been on vacation uh, last week's, and he'll be on vacation again this week. So, uh, But we'll, we'll do the fine beverage report again, guys. Don't worry. We promise. And we all love the fine beverage report here, too. Linux, please. Will it run on Linux? So I know some folks got it to run on a Linux box. Uh, it doesn't natively run on Linux. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I can't remember how they got it to work. It wasn't like in a wine wrapper or anything like that. I, I can't remember exactly how they got it to work. But there's somebody made a post about that on the forum. So, so uh, I, I would jump into like the IRC and ask. Uh, I think Venor, who's actually the Reddit, the subreddit uh, moderator, he actually was one of the folks who was able to get it working on oh, on Linux. Cool. I think, if I remember correctly, I could be 100% wrong on that. Uh, by the way, guys, follow the channel. Please follow the channel. Have you ever mistook Jiva for Buell? No. Never. They're pretty different. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, will you be sending emails to current beta testers con uh, containing beta invites that they can give to friends? Uh, right now, no. Uh, but you know, that's something we've talked about. Uh, you know, it's it's gonna have, it's gonna it's gonna happen. It's just when are we gonna be able to do it? So, uh, Zwill and Gasty, please implement SmartCast range indicators. Okay. And <laughs> there you go. It's that coming, easy. It's coming soon. It we is are, coming. We yeah. are we are building it as we as we speak. So. That is true. Yes, that is true. So soon, TM. Uh, what's the current uh, champion pool size? We don't call them champions actually in Dawn Gate. We do call them shapers. Uh, the current size is fourteen. Uh, when Kendra goes in, she will be the fifteenth shaper in the game. So limited shaper pool, right? But you know, again, still super early beta. Um. No, don't go with SmartCast. Uh, SmartCast is an option in the game. You don't have to use SmartCast if you don't want to. Uh, this has probably been answered, but do you plan to continue making more shapers, or is it going to cap? No, I don't think there's any... We don't have like a hard cap uh, in mind for making shapers. That is not... Uh, I don't think we, we plan on stopping doing that. So, um, How many shapers will you make? Games like League have over 100. Uh, again, we don't have like a hard cap. We're going to make as many as we, we can. Um, out of curiosity, what do you, as the developers, feel is one of the biggest changes you're looking to make? Oh my gosh, it's going so fast. Uh, make to the game. Uh, increase pull is an obvious thing, but are there certain mechanics, map, graphic issues, features that you feel are really missing from creating the best experience possible? Um, I mean, there's certainly all sorts of features that we have that we're working on internally that we want to continue to add. I mean, it, it is a very early closed beta, so if you play the, if you have not played the game. I encourage you to sign up for the beta, watch our streams, get a key, try it out, because it is, um, I mean, we're obviously very biased, but I would say it is one of the more, uh, it is one of the MOBAs that differentiates itself more than a lot of the other ones right now. Um, mm -hmm. 
we have a lot of very innovative, interesting systems. I encourage you guys to come try, us, try them out, give us feedback on them. We're very active in the community, responding to and acting on that feedback. Mm -hmm. That being said, there are certainly things that we are uh, we want to add to the game that are not in it yet, right? The vision gameplay with the warding system, while it's in a pretty good spot right now, uh, the lack of counterplay, for example, is something that we want to change, so we'll probably be adding things to the vision gameplay system. Um, mm -hmm. We're looking to, you know, constantly be tuning and tweaking the role system based on player feedback. Um, you're going to see, I'm sure you'll probably see, you know, more game modes down, down, down the road a long ways from now. Um, there's all sorts of meta systems that we want to introduce that take place out of the game, right? Like player behavior systems for encouraging positive behavior, player behavior systems for discouraging toxic behavior, um, all sorts of stuff like that, right? Uh, so ranked mode, et cetera. There's all sorts of spectator, et cetera. There's, there's a, a feature list a mile long of things we want to introduce to the game. It's just because we're such an early closed beta, uh, you'll see them come. It's just you're getting, a, you're getting basically a really early look, so they're not there yet. We also have a small team. We have a very small team, so um, is Don, is uh, Waystone Games hiring? Speaking of small team, yes, we are. we are indeed. We're actually looking for an assistant producer, associate producer, one of the two, uh, and uh, we're hiring what? An online engineer. Yes, that is like the most important one. If you happen to be an online engineer who has experience in games as a service, we would love to talk to you. So please, 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 send us your resumes. Uh, there's actually a link in the forums uh, for that too. So, anyways, uh, any is the key used up or uh, anybody? Uh, I just got a key. I'm in Europe. Will I have a huge ping and delay while playing from there? No. Uh, generally speaking, we hear people at about 100 to 150 ms when playing uh, from Europe. So, yeah, playing from Europe should be totally playable. That being said, we will be opening Euro servers eventually. It eventually, is. yeah. It's not like yeah. It's not. It's it's not like in the. If, immediate plans, but our European fan base is extremely important to us, and we want to be yeah. supporting you guys uh, with your own servers. Yeah, down and the road. We, we have a very large chunk of European players, so this is obviously very important. So um, so I don't know if we have the, the... Somebody asked what size of my hat I wear a large. Uh, these are a Kango large, though. So, yeah. Uh, impressed by the aim. Key is used up. Okay, there we go. All right, guys. Well, thank you very, very much for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed your first look at Kindra, the Vesper. Uh, hopefully, she'll be uh, playable very soon. Uh, uh, and uh, don't forget, guys, tomorrow from noon to midnight uh, Pacific time, uh, we're going to be opening up the beta servers uh, for everybody who got into the beta today and everybody who's in the beta already uh, to jump on, play the game. Please, please, please give us your feedback. Uh, uh, we will ideally be having another patch tomorrow. Uh, of course, that's not official until we actually announce it and put up notes. Uh, but ideally, we'll be having another patch tomorrow, which means we will be resetting uh, our survey data. So even if you've taken that survey before, please, we really need for you to take that survey again. Keep taking that survey for us. What that does is it basically gives us the data that we need to present to the, the, the powers that be, so to say, uh, to keep making the game that we're making uh, in the way that we're making it. So... It's all super helpful, super useful. Uh, again, uh, please be sure to follow us on Twitter, at The Dawngate. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Dawngate. And of course, follow our channel here on Twitch. So until tomorrow, uh, at a time to be determined, probably after like 3 or 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific time, uh, my name's Andy Belford, and this was Alex Hetu playing Kendra. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye, guys.